Would you look at that? It's a brand new building. But the point of this video isn't this brand new building. It's the inside of the Circus Maximus. And yes, I know what you're thinking. Isn't the Circus Maximus in Rome? Well, this one is also called Circus Maximus, and instead of being in Rome, it's in Merida, also known as Augusta Emerita. Uh, Augusta Emerita was founded in 25 BC by Augustus as a military colony to help keep the surrounding area pacified and in Roman control. And one of the things the Romans did was go and watch the horses race. And they loved to watch it. And it wasn't like the horse races we go to where we think of one jockey on one horse, but rather it was a charioteer driving a team of horses. And as you can see, um, it was a long racetrack, but that doesn't really give you a sense of how big it is. This shot, taken from the new building, which has a beautiful observation deck, gives you a slightly better idea of just how big this thing was. And as you can see, there is a general plan to how these things are arranged. They're generally oblong, square on one end, rounded on the other. And on the square end, um, they have the carceres, carceres in Latin. Um, and that's where the horses start. And they go out through a series of gates. And obviously on my diagram, I didn't position them exactly right. But here you can see them in their ruined form. And then down the middle of the track was a spina. Um, it had all sorts of decorations and water features and sometimes obelisks, but it basically helped separate the direction of the race, which generally went counterclockwise around the spina. And these, these circuses were usually really huge, like this one. When it was fully completed, it had a seating capacity of something on the order of 30,000 people, which would be like the entire town showing up. And as you can see, the seating is in various conditions. And this seating down here shows a little bit of curvature at the end, which is not usual because I am down near the car race where it should be all squared off. But you can see it's a little curved. And the seats were vaulted up. As you can see in this photo, this one they filled in with earth. And here you can see some more of the stands, which, again, they're in various state of preservation because this building is old. I mean, it's over 2,000 years old. In fact, it has its own history. And in this picture right here, um, in the 1800s, they wanted to build a road going from Madrid to Lisbon, and it went right through here. So they put it right through the circus, because I guess you could do this sort of stuff back in the day. Well, I mean, I suppose we still do. It's just like, oh, this isn't important anymore, so we'll knock the building over and whatever. But that's how it seems to go. Things are deemed more or less important by various cultures, and... Here is a building that was uncovered, doubtless, during the construction of the one next door. And because now we have decided that Roman remains are important, they excavated it, put in some interpretive signage, and made it easy for visitors to see. But unfortunately, it's one of those things where these ruins, where they're about 6 to 10 inches tall, they're hard to interpret. So here, let's put some lines over it. And you can see how it looks a bit more like stables because this building was kind of near the circus. Um, yeah, it takes a lot of imagination sometimes to see these things. So putting the lines on, I hope that helped you see. And finally, this is it for this week's video. Next week, I might try doing 
something on a different topic, or I might keep going with my Roman stuff that I saw recently. I don't know, but as promised, this channel is going to be a bit of a mix. I'm going to see what works, see what doesn't, learn how to make various kinds of videos. Uh, if you like the mix I'm making, go ahead and subscribe. Um, I do like comments. Those, those are nice. And the algorithm seems to like it when you say like.